What is up guys, Monster Jiffinac here, and today I got a package from Mac Bulldog Mac. We got at least 10 trucks, guys. I'm sending him a lot of stuff too, but he sent me a lot of awesome trucks that I have wanted for almost 10, some of these trucks, it's been almost like 10 years that I've wanted some of these trucks. I'm so glad lately I've been getting a lot of trucks that I've wanted since I was a child. Tr trucks I saw when I was younger on my desktop computer that I finally have been getting my collection today. I'm honestly catching up on my small hubs. I have almost, almost all of them, but with that out of the way, um, enough rambling. I want to show you all the trucks that I got today. We're going to start off with the big hubs honestly i haven't even looked in this and i, I know i said today i got a package from mac bulldog mac but i actually got it the day i got sick i went to the a fair and i got sick this was like monday like the last month monday before last um it's been a while since i've got this package just been lying around I haven't felt like touching it but i am feeling better tonight i've been feeling better this past uh, few days so i decided to make a video showing you guys finally the trucks that he got me so we'll start off with this grave digger here this is 2007 so this was one of the first plastic based grave diggers it has a gray chassis so i, I think this is from a playset but honestly i could not tell you what playset this is from honestly this looks like my very first grave digger none of you guys know this and i honestly kind of just remember this on um, my first grave digger i got back in like you know 2007 because 2007 was the year i first started getting trucks i only got like a handful of trucks that year maybe five or ten and i only have like five of them today because a couple of them did break back in the day and i get i ended up getting a replacement grave digger back in 2009 but i originally had one from a couple years prior so this may have been the original grave digger i had um i could not remember what color the chassis was or anything i mean i was like what five when i broke it so i don't know but if this was the original grave digger i had that is truly awesome but it is from 2007 honestly it's older than i thought it was it looks pretty new has black wheels and a gray chassis the gray chassis does indicate that it's from a play set but i'm not for sure this truck is probably in the worst condition i basically got this for free because um look at it the the wheels hardly roll the front ones dude they're still wobbly but the back ones are completely locked up it does have a signature on the top it apparently didn't does not wash off i could care less about the signature whether if it's on there or not um but yeah the back tires are very mangled up but it is the spectra flame iron outlaw i never got the spectra flame and honestly i don't even have the normal red iron outlaw i only have the mud treads one but i originally did get the original like red one from 2009 ended up making a black iron outlaw custom it didn't look that bad but it looks like crap nowadays in today's standards so i'm basically wasting my only red iron outlaw but i at least i got uh the mud treads and now the spectra flame version i love the chrome red on this um it is more it's a, it's a spectra flame paint it's not just the red bead locks on the tire on the wheels so um it does look very very awesome i'm glad i have that in my collection uh one of these days soon enough i'll um i'll take these wheels off and uh i'll get uh something and twist them back to, to make them straight let's get to the next one this is the two 2010 grave digger 25th anniversary honestly i don't know why they made the 25th anniversary again in 2010 just with the plastic base but i mean i'm not complaining i love this grave digger i love any chrome um grave digger or green ghost any um more retro grave digger or grave digger from the early 2000s i am in love with that was the era of grave diggers that i love more than anything those are the grave diggers i i watched growing up and i remember as a child seeing i had this truck but i, I don't have it anymore and the only reason i know i had this truck because in christmas of 2010 my mom got a new camera and she took a picture with me with this truck and i even have the flag that goes to this truck but it's not my collection i don't even remember having it if it weren't for that one photo my mom took me the day of christmas holding this truck in package i would not i would never thought i had this truck but i mean it's not my collection today i do still have the flag up on my wall so that's very weird it probably got destroyed outside when i used to take my trucks outside so there's that one for the next one we have a uh, spectra flame nitro circus now this one's in better condition the wheels roll perfectly fine again with the red uh, uh, spectra flame paint it looks beautiful i remember seeing this truck in stores in 2011 this is from 2011 right yeah c43 so this was early 2011 when it came out but i remember seeing it in stores in 2011 and, and i was like you know what i just got the normal nitro circus a year prior so i don't need the spectra flame one that was a big mistake because now i collect everything so but at least you know mac below mac he hooked me up with not one but two spectra flame trucks so those were the two spectra flame trucks next up we have this uh 2010 thrasher again this was another truck i had back in the day but i actually ended up making the uh black thrasher custom out of that one and i did get the spectra flame thrasher from like what 2013 or whatever but i mean i never had the regular thrasher again and i actually ended up going to that one collectible store if you guys saw that video a couple weeks ago i went to that collectible store in virginia beach or that toy store that had hundreds of monster trucks I ended up seeing this truck, this truck, and then second to final plastic base, big hub, and this one. This was the other one. I saw those three at my collectible store 
um, a couple weeks ago, but I didn't get them because I knew that MacBook on Mac was getting me them. And as you can see, the wheels on here are pretty wobbly too, but honestly, they look kind of fixable. Let me see if I kind of just fixed them, but I know they are fixable. I'll mess with them a little bit. Oh, after the video, maybe it does need to be um, taken apart to fix. But uh, yeah, those three trucks I saw in my collectible store, but I didn't get because I knew that I, I was getting them in this package. And now for the final big hub, we have the El Matador, just the normal 2000 and what, 2010 El Matador? It's from 2011, my bad. So this is the 2011 El Matador. And uh, the two, in 2010, I believe they came out with the Spectre Flames El Matador. And that's the one I have. I did not get the regular El Matador. So there is a variant and I didn't have it. So now I do. Um, kind of wobbly wheels. Not a lot of these are in the best condition. I didn't really uh, pay for those trucks, really. I mean, I, I needed them and I still paid them a little bit of money. But most of my money and other trucks that I was giving him went into these small hubs. These are truly awesome small hubs. Amazing small hubs that I have been wanting forever. Here is the first one. We have Superman. This is such an awesome looking truck. We'll go through these a little bit uh, faster. It does have a ba uh, black painted grill. I don't remember Superman having a painted grill, but um, the cape doesn't come off or come up on the small Superman like it does for the bigger hubs. But uh, yeah, now I have the small Superman. This is from 2004, I believe. Next one, we have Grave Dirt Legend. This one's probably in the worst condition out of all the trucks that we have seen so far, um, body wise. Not, none of the trucks I got really have any paint chips. El Matador has a couple on the roof and along the sides. This one um, has kind of a, a scratched up roof and hood. And uh, you can see a lot of paint chips going along the side right there. And uh, the wheels actually are pretty fun. I thought they were wobbly, so that's cool. But I uh, finally have a Grave Digger Legend small hub. I know they made two different variants of this Grave Digger Legend. One was like darker. and This is the lighter color blue variant, but they made a darker blue color as well. And now for the final three. These three I cannot believe I finally have in my collection. First off, Sobe. I literally have, ever since I watched Monster Gym OCD's collection video back in like 2012 or 11, um, that's when I found out they made this truck. And I thought it was just a different version of Suzuki but i mean obviously it's it, everyone calls it sobe and suzuki was one of my favorite trucks so ever since then it's been about 10 years now so um i've wanted this truck for about a decade and finally have it so be i've always wanted one i've waited to find one for a good uh, price on ebay or whatever never found one so i'm glad mac mac finally hooked me up and got me one and now for the final two we have first off the 20th anniversary grave digger i i cannot explain to you guys how happy i am to finally have this truck luckily he had a couple um, I got an eBay lot, so he gave me a really good deal for this. Um, I, I'm giving him some trucks um, and then some money. Not even that much money, so I really appreciate the deal, Mac Boy Mac, if you were watching this. I'm so glad to finally have this in my collection. But honestly, the next truck and the final one honestly has that one B. This, that, that one may be a little more rare. This was like a three-pack exclusive. It came out, I think, in a three-pack and then in a play set. It, come out, it came out twice, but it never came out in mainline. So it kind of still makes it rare. But this one just looks prettier. It did come out in mainline, but this is the Whiteout Grave Digger. This is my second Whiteout. My first one's Blue Thunder. So now I just need El Toro Loco and Maximum Destruction. But here is the Whiteout Grave Digger. Honestly, this is one of those trucks that just you have to see in real life to appreciate it. It looks so much better in real life. Beautiful truck. So there you go, guys. Those are the trucks that Mac Bow and Mac gave me. He gave me four eight 12 trucks awesome i'm giving them like seven and some money but i'm giving them some good trucks too don't worry i'll hook them up too appreciate the deal mac bulldog mac um hope you guys enjoyed this video tell me which truck out of all these is your favorite honestly so be this grave digger the 20th anniversary grave digger those three are honestly tied for first i cannot choose a favor i love them all but honestly it may have to be this i don't really know guys i'd have to think hard on that one so tell me what you guys like the most out of all these and with that said if you guys made it to this part of the video i really appreciate you guys thank you guys so much for watching once again i'll see you guys next time peace out